friends, this is Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute and I'll fill you in on where I've been shortly, but I am so excited to be sharing some products from the new My Favorite Things release that is out today. I was so excited um, as part of like the guest design team for the weekly sketch challenges and color challenges. Um, they did send me these items um, to try out and play with. And so we have the Soda Pop stamp set, the Soda Pop Dynamics, um, the six pack carrier die, and then the bottle cap dies, which I wasn't sure if I was gonna use or not, but I did end up bringing into the mix. So I'm gonna start out by cutting out the little six pack carrier. Um, and this is just so cute. It has the two little tabs that it leaves score marks for on the side so that you can kind of wrap this around and pop it up. And I added some snow cone uh, cardstock to my A2 sized side folding card base with just with some liquid glue. And we're actually gonna go in and stencil that in a little bit. Um, but I kind of was just getting all of my general pieces together to start with. So you can see I'm scoring those little tabs and for this whole time I thought I was going to go horizontal with this card, but as you saw in the um, thumbnail picture, I ended up switching it up at the end. Um, I knew that I wanted a little band to go on my carrier case, so I'm trimming down another piece of the snow cone cardstock and at first that was a little big so you can see I'm holding my stamps up to it just kind of for reference to kind of get the scale and I think I ended up with three quarters of an inch um, that worked really well and I'm just going to trim that down I marked it with a pencil instead of worrying about like measuring and going back and forth it was easier just to put a little pencil line there and then use my trimmer to cut that and we will um, set that aside and go in with this snowy fun stencil and a little bit of distress uh, matte texture paste. Uh, this is definitely really dry. I had to add a little bit of water to it so I'm probably going to need a new jar but I really wanted to try to make this work so I stirred it up as much as I could um, and then just did a nice even layer but you can see like I'm really having to work and push it around. So normally that's not how this paste applies and I just wanted to be super transparent with you guys that you know, in an ideal world it would go on much smoother. Also there was leftover like paint or something on my scraper and you can see like little bits of that getting into my paste and I kind of had to like play around with scraping that back off. So, you know, we just over here making it work. So I removed my stencil and immediately scraped off any of the little bits hanging over the edge because once those dry and they are like solidify, they get really hard and they're hard to remove. And then I wash that stencil right away, especially because the paste was already a little bit dry, I did not want it to dry to my stencil. Um, I stamped the Stay Cool Sentiment from the Soda Pop stamp set with the I think that's the gravel gray ink from my favorite things. I like that this was still super legible, but just a little bit softer than black. And then I stamped this penguin from the P Playful Penguin stamp set. I just ordered this for myself um, and got it in the mail this past week. And so when I saw that stay cool sentiment, the penguins were the first thing that came to mind. And my dad is an avid lover of penguins and Diet Coke. Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. Um, so I just thought this would be such a cute combination. So this is a card for him. This is dedicated to him. Um, and so I die cut six of those soda bottles and six of the little caps. And I'm just using some cool gray markers to shade in those caps all at once. And then I'm gonna show you me coloring in one of the bottles. I did the same process for all six. So including all six seemed like way too much. Um, this card did take a little bit of time, but it was really fun to do. And kind of once I got the hang of what I was doing, it, it went faster, it felt faster than it really was. So I'm starting out with some light BG markers going with BG 11 and kind of emphasizing where there's already um, not, not die cut lines um 
what are the other ones? There's like already indentations there from the dye so that you kind of get that bottle texture. And I blended that out with the BG10. And then I went in with some darker BG markers to make a teal um, little label. And I'm not going to stamp anything on there. I'm not going to super worry about that because um, most of the label is going to get covered up by the carrier case anyway. So I just kind of went back and forth with these markers, blending out to get a smooth transition. And then I went in with E59 and E57 to make the soda, just making sure to leave a little bit of a gap on either side where kind of that thicker glass bottle would be um, kind of still clear on the edges and the liquid would be more on the inside. Um, so then the last thing was to add the little cap to the top that was super easy, but I want to take a second just to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on. I have been so grateful for everyone's patience, um, and understanding and well wishes for anyone who might've seen my post, um, a couple weeks ago, warning you guys, I was going to be, um, taking some time off. I did have, um, an unexpected health issue come up and I ended up having, gallbladder removal surgery, um, which was definitely not expected. Um, and so now I am on the mend. It's been a couple weeks, um, still trying to kind of between that and Christmas, right? It's already like a very hectic time. Um, so just trying to play kind of catch up. So I wasn't able to get a video up by last Friday, but instead of stressing about it, I figured that sharing today on my favorite things release day was a good compromise and that way I didn't lose my mind and you guys still get a fun video. Um, so yeah, I attached the three bottles that are going to be in the front with liquid glue and I went in with foam tape to add the back glasses in place. This one that I'm having a struggle with um, putting down, it didn't look right and that's because I didn't add that soda color to it. So in the end, I'm going to end up peeling that back off and adding some of that brown cola color to the top part of the bottle. And that will bring all of that together. Um, yeah. And, but otherwise I really like how the foam tape kind of helps separate everything once we get it applied to the card. And as long as you don't squeeze down really firmly on your foam tape, it's pretty easy to shift these around if you need to. I also added a piece of foam tape to the bottom section of the carrier just to make sure that when I did attach it, everything laid nice and flat. And then for the penguin, I went in again with cool gray markers. I wanted to kind of keep the same tones throughout. So I started with a C9, just kind of adding shading to the bottom of his little flippers, um, his little butt, and in between his eyes, and then blended that out with the C7. And then I'll come in with some C5 to bring some highlight, leaving just an extra little sliver on the very top of the head because I really wanted it to stand out against this little bum. Um, so we'll bring in some C, either three, there we go, C3 just for that very top and then under his chin and around his little beak. Blend that out with some C1, still keeping a lot of white space there. Um, blending that out one more time with the C0, but honestly, you could skip that step. And then for his feet and his beak, I used a little bit of YR09, um, YR07, and then YR04 as my highlight on the top of his little feet. And of course, he needed some blush because he's kind of like splayed out on top of this sentiment. I also thought it would be really cute to go in and add some highlights, kind of like he's the logo, more so than an actual, um, you know, realistic penguin. And then this is when I realized that having that very blank case, that carrier, drink carrier, was just kind of weird. It felt super empty to me with everything else going on. So I used some of the same Copic Express It paper and cut out one of the bottle cap bottoms and tops. And I added just a little bit of shading to the top section um, going around the edges with a more medium marker still going in with all those cool grays again so that everything works together really well and then I attached the top round part to the bottom kind of spikier part 
and I wasn't positive exactly where everything was going to go, but I really liked that extra little touch. And I wanted to use one of these circle stamps from the stamp set to kind of solidify exactly what that was since it was going to be the only one. So I um, stamped the one that says you're a classic with that same gray ink from earlier. Um, and I was very proud of myself because I hand stamped that and it went okay. I also added some um, dot adhesive tape runner to the back of those flaps, but I did go back in later with liquid glue to reinforce that. And this is when I made the decision to switch to a portrait um, alignment here. So we're, and now you can see there's all that empty space at the top. So this is when I had to kind of get creative and shift things around a little bit. So I added, I was kind of back and forth, where am I gonna add my cap? I went with the bottom, and this way I can add an extra sentiment to the top. So because I had used that craft card stock before, I wanted to bring it in at least one more time, um, and I stamped out the world's greatest pop um, sentiment from the same soda pop stamp set. Um, because this was gonna be for my dad anyway, and he is grandpa to my little girls. So we don't call him Pop, but that's okay. Um, and I wanted this to be a die cut sentiment. So I had the rectangle stacks dies that are just stitched, um, and it's a little big, but what we're gonna do is stamp our image and then we'll die cut from the bottom so that we can kind of make our own custom sized stitched element. So once I had my die cut piece in place, I um, treated it with some anti-static powder tool and then went in with my embossing ink and white embossing powder. Um, I kind of wish I had used the white pigment ink that I add sometimes because for some reason this image did not, probably because it's the first time I took it out and I don't even think I primed it, like I didn't rub on the stamp like I usually would. Um, so I didn't get the best embossing ever. It's a little bit spotty, but this also does kind of have a more retro feel to me, like a little bit of a vintage-y, cutesy feel. So I think it's fine. But in hindsight, if I had thought to go in with the white ink, I think it would have looked just a little bit cleaner. So I melted all of that white embossing powder with my heat gun. And now um, I also decided that another way to add some more interest to this carrier case was to add some shading to it. So I went in with some E40 markers really lightly just on the out, outside edges and right around the handle and just brought in some extra shading. And again, I really like how this kind of pulls everything together and makes it look a little bit more cohesive and intentional. Um, I don't think you have to do that. I've seen other design team members using this without any extra shading, and I think it still looks adorable. I think it just has to do with how much other stuff is happening on your card. Um, you want to make sure you're finding like the balance. So at first I thought I was going to leave that um, kind of banner big and tuck it behind, but I just wasn't loving those proportions. So I ended up um, shifting that same die down and kind of letting the stitches fall into place on the sides. Then I added some washi tape and ran it through using the edges of my cutting plates so that I was sure that I wasn't going to mess up the top. It's not perfect. The stitches aren't lined up absolutely perfect, but do you know who's not going to care about that? My dad, when he gets the card, <laughs> he's going to be just fine with it. Um, so I added some foam tape and used my T-square ruler to make sure that was nice and level and then press that into place and that brings this whole card together. So I'm just so excited to be sharing this new release with you guys and so excited to be back here. Um, expect some more videos very soon and I hope you have an amazing week. I'll talk to you guys soon and until then, happy crafting.